Hey, it's Miss Thompson right here, and I wanted to talk to you about emotions. Yes, emotions. A lot of people don't understand their emotions. They don't realize that they're just indicators, you know? They are connected to our thoughts and our actions. And if you just pay attention to them closely and understand what they are, then they'll be able to help you. A lot of people's emotions harm them because they really don't like the way that it feels. And you know, a lot of people don't like feeling sad or feeling angry or feeling nervous or feeling worried or feeling guilty. Um, a lot of people like feeling happiness and feeling joy. And a lot of the time, your thought process is what controls how you feel. And other times, your feelings are just signals. They let you know what's happening around you. Are you observing something you like? Are you experiencing something that you hate? Is this person giving you a good vibe? Is the energy in this place feeling good? You know, those things are important at the end of the day. Um, but a lot of people like to react to emotion instead of acting depending upon how they would like to respond to that emotion. Like you have to think about really how would you like to respond to how you feel? Seriously, like do you want to tear up some shit? When you're angry, you think that is gonna make you feel better? You, you gotta clean up the mess after that. And a lot of people forget that, you know, when you're destroying everything out of anger or sadness, there is a mess that you have to clean up after that. To leap over top of that process of you having to clean up, think about how you would like to respond to whatever it is that you are observing. There is such thing as breaking your own heart. You know, when you keep replaying the same things over and over in your mind, you're feeling the same things, you're just breaking yourself over and over and over. And it's hard for me to sit here and tell you, uh, think about something else. You know, it, it's going to be, change your mind. Change your mind. Think about something else. Get your mind off it. Go do a physical activity. Think about something else. Do something that will make you feel better. Yeah, saying that is easy, but you literally have to pull yourself out of a funk. And it's almost like you have an elephant laying on top of you and you don't want to get up and do too much of anything. So when someone tells you, hey, change your mind, it's really hard because you keep replaying in your mind how you could have changed the situation, what you could have said to make it better, what did you do wrong, what you didn't do wrong. When you are experiencing something that is breaking your heart so much and you just keep going over and it, over and it, over and it. And it's like, dude, you're doing this to yourself. Friend, girlfriend, you're doing this to yourself. So thinking about something else that makes you feel better helps, but it takes practice. You have to do it every day. I remember I was telling somebody, you know, I have adult acne. For some reason, my face is like breaking out like crazy and it could be just stress or adult acne, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I told her that I was using this daily cleanser wash on my face and it cleared up my uh, adult acne. And so she's like, well, that's something you're gonna have to do every day if you wanna keep your skin clear. Uh, don't we bathe every day? Don't we put on deodorant every day? Don't you brush your teeth every day? Don't you get up and go to work every day to make money? You got to keep doing it over and over again to stay on that level. So if you want to think some positive things because you've been feeling bad, you got to affirm it every day. That's what daily affirmations are. You got to do it every day. Your heart is a muscle. Your mind is a muscle. So if you want whatever's happening in your mind to change, you have to work it out. You have to work your heart out if your soul is broken and you're feeling some kind of way you're feeling negative you're hurt you got to practice not feeling like that that's the only way it'll stop because if you don't do it you're just going to fester in that pain and it's just going to keep replaying itself over and over and over again so get online get on youtube Listen to some uh, meditation music or your favorite artist. Like when I'm upset, I like to turn on Usher. I don't know why, I just like Usher. <laughs> I love that Here I Stand song he has. I love it. So, you know, you, you play some music that you love or you watch a show that you like or you go outside, get some fresh air, uh, play with your animals. I have a, um, a Shih Tzu that I love and a, a Cocker Spaniel that I love. And, I'll go play with them or I'll go uh, 
mess around with my daughter. I don't do it immediately. Like if something breaks my heart, it doesn't happen immediately that I go and I just change my mind. But I have to do it eventually. I can't just dwell in that. Like I, I would refuse to sit there and be angry about something for days and days and days and days. And it's just, I just don't do that. So, you know, I encourage everybody else to motivate yourself. Motivate yourself and you know, if there's nothing else you can find to make you feel better, go on YouTube and find me. <laughs> you know, go on YouTube and look at some silly videos that I made in the past because they're still up on YouTube. So check those videos out and, you know, just you have to try. You know what I mean? You have to motivate yourself. You have to go out there and you have to realize what your worth is. Are you worth the effort of unbreaking your own heart?